research recently published by a Boston University School of Medicine proves the theory that excess sugar, especially fructose in sports drinks, flavored coffee drinks, sweet tea, fruit juices, and sodas, might cause significant damage to the brain. That's scary. The study found that more than two drinks per day were associated with two to 11 years of accelerated aging of the brain, also affecting memory. The herbal pharmacist Dave Foreman is here to talk more about this. So here's the sad, sad thing. A, a soda this size, 20 ounce soda uh, that is that does contain sugar is mm -hmm. equal to this plate of cookies. All of that? All of those. Plate? All of those. Contains the same amount, same of, amount sugar of sugar as that's found that. in this. Yes, exactly. That is frightening. Now here's the part that really disturbed me. Um, this is a green juice. Healthy. You know, very, very easy to find, very popular. Right. It's actually labeled like green, you know. Get your greens. The same amount of sugar that's in this uh -huh. is equal to those six <gasps> peanut butter chocolate yummy oh messes. Oh my gosh, I had one of these recently. I had no and so idea. So I travel a lot, right? And I and so sometimes I can't eat when I want to. Mm -hmm. So I would snag one of these because I'm thinking, hey, Get 100 percent, yeah, right. And it's what is it? So read your labels. What are they putting in there? Well, the the first ingredient in that is actually apple juice. Mm. And apple juice is really high in sugar, and then they add, you know, and mm. this actually says no sugar added. It's, oh, so it's the juice, so but it's... people don't realize when you get rid of the fiber and all the other beneficial things, that sugar has a, a much more negative effect on your body. And like you said, 11 years of aging with regards to memory? No. Yeah, I don't need that. that I'm explains, in my 50s, so I don't need that. That explains <laughs> the bad memory. Is this a better choice than the soda then, or is no. it pretty much the same? Well, I mean, you're gonna get more nu nutritional value out of, out of the juice right. for sure, but. but at the same point, you're getting I think this was 56 grams of sugar. Oh, This okay. is 65 grams of sugar. Oh, okay. You know, so this is, this is bad this is news. 16, 16 teaspoons, I believe, of sugar. It's just liquid. Can you sit down it's and do that? Anybody can do, can you do that? Liquefied sugar. Yeah, exactly. It's not good. So I've got some solutions. Since okay, we're talking about please. the aging of your brain, brain memory, I brought four things that will help improve your overall brain health and or memory. Can so, we reverse the damage? Or um, can we in just... some cases, I feel, I feel like we can. Okay. I, I feel like we can. So I've got A, B, C, D. A okay, is for a. avocados. Avocados are super high in good fats. Mm -hmm. uh, we know that the good fats uh, can be beneficial to brain health. There's also uh, B vitamins in there that help with uh, neurotransmitter uh, production. Okay. B is for blueberries, a diet high in berries. Antioxidants help improve circulation of the brain. Studies show that it'll actually help improve your concentration for about five hours eating blueberries. I'm so focused right now. Yeah. C is for cognium, an ingredient. Uh, I only found out about in March, mm -hmm. uh, scientifically st studied uh, nine human clinical trials showing that if you take Cognium, this is a supplement, um, that it will improve your memory within as little as three to four weeks. So memory, I, I know I, I like, I have trouble focusing. <laughs> I should be like <laughs> the not anymore. Kid. Yeah, exactly. So That's Cognium working. is C. And I know we're running out of time. So D for dark chocolate, darker the better. And now it's bitter. So people think, oh God, there's no way you could eat that whole candy bar. You don't have to. No, you don't. Just about an ounce of dark chocolate. The darker, the better. Um, it's not sugar. And, uh, monitor how much sugar is in that and, and factor that into your day. But again, sugar's bad for your brain, not just your waistline. Right. And there are things that we can do to help improve our memory or our overall brain health. My my 86-year-old dad has a little block of dark, dark chocolate every day. There's a cool study on, on senior citizens showing the ones who eat dark chocolate uh, didn't develop dementia nearly as much as people who did. So your dad's right on. That's good news. Good, good news. <laughs> Dave Foreman, thank you. Thank you. All right, have a blueberry. We can have some. <laughs> I know they're yummy. We'll be right back.